A Clinton County man recently bought a furniture set from a thrift store. When he got it home, he says it didn't feel right. His daughter-in-law unzipped the cushion and found tens of thousands of dollars. Matt Franklin shows us what he did with the money. Do you have any idea? No. No, I know. I know. It's an unexpected surprise for the Newberry family of Owasso. I was hoping for like pictures or mementos letters or something like that. But what they got... I unzipped it and then she started pulling out this. Oh my goodness. $43,170. Returned to them by Howard Kirby of Ovid. I know how it is to lose something and not get it back. More than $40,000 found inside of this cushion from a couch Kirby bought at the Habitat for Humanity Restore in Owasso. He got the $70 worth of furniture home, but said it didn't feel right, and his daughter-in-law agreed. She decided to check it out, and she pulls, she opens it up and pulls out a, she, sa she says, Dad, money! With thousands of dollars in cold, hard cash in his hand, Howard says he started making his list. Everything ran through my mind. Now I can pay off the house, I can get a roof on my house, and and I can retire real good and everything. He even talked to a lawyer who said he legally could keep the money, but he says he took a step back and turned to his faith. Being a Christian, I'm born again Christian, and years ago, what would Jesus do? And Jesus would give it back to, to the rightful owner. He got in touch with the store, and they located the Newberry family. They donated the couch following the death of their grandfather. Hey, <laughs> that goes to you. Wow. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. You're welcome. And as tempting as it was to keep the money, Howard says he knows returning it to its rightful owners was the right thing to do. And I hope it encourages everybody else to do the right thing. The lawful thing is not always the moral thing.